I just wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day before I go. There's going to be a very exciting announcement in this vlog, so stay tuned. But I just want this vlog to be a really cozy fall vlog. Um, we're going to go decor shopping and everything. But this is my fit. So I have on these Uggs that are actually pretty long. But I really want to get the minis, but they're just sold out everywhere. So we'll get those eventually, but my jeans are covering these for now, so it looks good. And then I'm just wearing this tote from Princess Polly, and then this shirt is from Revolve. These jeans are from Ardeen's X Fernanda collection. So yeah, let's head out. Hey. Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Can I get started? Can I please get an iced pumpkin spice latte? Can I please make that decaf? Then can I get oat milk in it as well? Uh, that's all, thank you. No problem, it'll be 2709. Okay, you. awesome, thank you. I'm good, how are you? Awesome, thank you so much. You too. Okay, guys, first pumpkin spice latte of the season. We are now going to park. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I was sick last week. I'm over it. I just have like a remainder cough and my voice is a little icky, you know what I mean? But I'm not sick anymore, don't worry. But anyways, so cheers to the first pumpkin spice latte of the season. I got a decaf because if you guys watched my previous vlogs, you know that I'm having a bit of stomach issues with coffee right now. So I hope that getting a decaf is gonna be better for my stomach. So we're just kind of trying out new things with coffee, but it's really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna say it. So I started my own Patreon, and if you guys don't know what Patreon is, it is a place where you pay a subscription monthly. A lot of creators offer different things on their Patreon, so ah, I just can't believe I'm even saying this. I'm so excited about this, you guys, and I can't wait to tell you what it's all about right now. Like, I've been waiting for this moment for so long now, and I've been so excited about it. So my main goal for this Patreon is to form a community of like-minded people so we can all support each other in our journeys of better ourselves and becoming the best versions of ourselves what really motivated me to start this is personally in my own life in terms of like friendships and stuff I I just didn't really have those friendships in my life like those girlfriends that I can go to for advice about becoming the best version of myself and motivation and people having my back and encouraging me and then when I thought about it I realized wouldn't it be amazing to create a community for people to all come together and encourage each other to fall back on and to hold you accountable and I also wanted something where I can feel closer and more connected to you guys on YouTube I honestly like I can't thank you enough for watching my videos and I'm still gonna post here like I'm not getting rid of my YouTube whatsoever I really just want my patreon to be a place where I can get closer to you guys. I want to FaceTime you guys. I want to go, I'm going to go on weekly um, live calls and everything. And I truly just want to get to know you guys better and engage in this community and make friends with you guys. So on my Patreon, if you go on there, you'll see what everything includes. But I'm going to be posting um, weekly vlogs on there. So aside from the vlogs I'm posting on YouTube, there's going to be weekly extra vlogs going up on there that I'm going to try to make more raw. So I'm going to try to give you guys like real tea about my life, about brand deals about my career about a lot of things and just kind of talk to you guys like I would somebody on FaceTime every single month I'm also going to be going on the patreon and doing a live Q&A slash chat with you guys so it would be even cool if I can bring you guys on like a video call as well you guys can ask me questions in like the chat box and we can just all have like a hangout maybe even just like everybody can be on video I don't know what I specifically want to do with that because I want to also get you guys' opinions too and aside from that I'm also going to be posting one motivational sit down video per week so like a moments episode Episode where I'm gonna just gonna kind of like I guess like kind of coach you guys on how to live your dream life how to build that foundation for yourself how to better yourself and just talk about like my spirituality my experiences on how I manifested my dream life and I want to kind of put out like an episode of moments of that every single week I'm also gonna make a group chat so a discord group chat with everybody in it that joins and I want everybody to be able to connect in that group chat. So if anybody needs advice, you can go to a community where you know people will have your back. There's gonna be like a bunch of subcategories that are gonna divide the conversations, but I'm gonna be chatting in there with you guys and I just feel like it's gonna be such a cool, amazing, intimate community for everybody to grow together and have each other's backs on this journey. And also the money that I make for this, I want to give back to you guys as well. So every single month, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and the amount of money that I'm generating from this, I'm gonna take a percentage of that money and I'm gonna do a giveaway. So the 
more patrons that we have in my patreon the bigger the giveaway is gonna be and i'm so excited i really want to give away like the apple airpod max like those really trendy headphones ipads like potentially laptops in the future if it gets to that point so yeah i'm really excited and i want to do huge giveaways for you guys and get you guys's input on what you want for the giveaways but i want to make them big i want to take a big percentage of what i'm making and give that back to you guys but yeah so all in all i just want to make it a community where i'm gonna engage with you guys more feel closer with you guys and i want you guys to feel closer to each other as well and since we're all going to be like like-minded in that community i just feel like i've never really seen or come across personally a community like that so when i thought of the idea i was like oh my gosh this can actually really benefit a lot of people and maybe even change some people's lives so i'm really excited to get this started like you don't even know like i'm so excited and i hope you guys are excited as well and i'm gonna be taking so much feedback from you guys so if you want me to take away something if you want me to add something to the patreon i'm open to all suggestions so please let me know and as for the price point i tried to make it as affordable as possible while doing kind of a balanced energy exchange so i charged what i think um, the work that i'm putting into it is worth i totally understand if you guys can't afford it but if you do end up signing up i can't thank you enough and i cannot wait to get our journey started yeah it's like putting out videos and stuff on youtube it's for the world to see like anybody in the world can just go and see it versus this on my patreon is you have to sign up exclusively to see this content so i know that you guys are truly there for the content and to engage with it if you're in my patreon and that will make me feel more confident to just kind of spill more tea in general in the vlogs and let you guys more into my life and if you guys want to do like youtube as a career then i can dive more into that and like the real raw content that i would be too afraid to actually post on youtube because the world can see it like i said and i was also thinking lately of how the internet was kind of very intimidating to me because there's so many different social media platforms youtube tiktok instagram whatever there's so many and there's gonna be more as the future progresses and I was thinking and I'm like I just want like a safe corner on the internet YouTube is my safe corner right now it's just not as intimate as I want it to be like I want to create this community where we're chatting every single day we're lift lifting each other up and we're truly starting this journey of living our best lives together and that's one thing that I realized while going through my spiritual awakening is that like anybody can do this anybody can manifest their dream life it just takes you to believe in yourself and then to put your actions towards what you want and sometimes like i said it's so hard to do that if you have no support so i really hope that this community can give everybody the support that they want and need i'm so excited for everything to just like get closer with you guys and who knows maybe in the future i'm gonna be like hey guys everybody in my patreon i'm renting out an airbnb in this place in the world everybody come and let's have a giant sleepover like how cool would that be are you kidding me this is gonna be like the coolest squad ever i'm so excited if you guys want to sign up click the link in my description and go sign up sooner than later because i am going to be upping the price not exactly sure when but it's going to be soon because i want to get you guys my og subscribers in first for the best price possible and you guys can lock in that rate forever so yeah before i up it go sign up i was gonna launch this last week but since i was sick i'm a week late but the content that i would have posted last week is already going to be uploaded onto the patreon so you're not missing any content i haven't been this excited about something in so 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 long and i am just so happy and i can't wait to get to know you guys better and become friends with you guys chat with you guys and put out some more exclusive content and this patreon is just going to be my little baby and i'm so excited so yeah if you guys have any questions about the patreon you can leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can i hope everything is straightforward for you guys on the website because i did jot everything down there so yeah anyways if youtube goes to shit and other social media platforms go to shit at least we'll still have each other and that's what i want at the end of the day so thank thankful and grateful for you guys every single day for watching my content on here and yeah i'm just so excited for this journey and go click the link if you guys want to sign up ah. anyways i've been talking for really long now but let's go to home sense so we can get some hopefully get some cute fall decor because i don't really have any so
Okay, so I just finished up at HomeSense. I got a couple, like one thing for fall, and then I got a blanket because I've been looking for blankets. Um, but I'm gonna test it out in my house and see how I like it. But they did not have any good fall decorations. They literally had such like limited selection. They had like two aisles and it was like all tacky stuff that like I just kind of want to make it more neutral decor. Um, but it was really tacky stuff and it was just like two aisles and then the rest of their decor aisles were full of Christmas stuff. So I guess I'm a little late on the decorating for fall. I didn't know I was late. I was going to do this last week but then I got sick. So I guess that's maybe why. Anyways, so now I'm going to go to Walmart because I don't know where else to go. Yeah, it's just I was expecting them to have so much more. Okay, so I'm currently at Walmart and they actually have some cute little pumpkins So I was thinking something just like this and then an orange one maybe But I just want to keep it really simple nothing too extravagant this year So I don't know. I'm just looking through them right now, but they have a lot actually um, So I'm just thinking maybe just like a plain orange and then like a white But I'm still gonna look around and see what they have but I'm happy that they at least have some good selection here or something. Here's my little haul. I did not get much at all because I was really disappointed, honestly. There was barely anything. Like, I was disappointed in HomeSense because I was expecting to find everything there. But there wasn't really much. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I like what I got. But I got this blanket. But we've just been wanting, like, a bigger blanket for our couch. Because right now we just have like this white one underneath here and honestly I just use that one to sit on since I have like really heavy periods and stuff. I don't trust myself just sitting on the white couch sometimes so I always lay that blanket down before I sit on the couch. And then this blanket over top is our only like throw blanket right now and it's pretty tiny. It only fits like one person. So we've been looking for like a nice big blanket for a while now. And so I came across this one at HomeSense today and it's huge. It's like a twin size. So it's like a double bed size. It's so cozy and big and it just kind of like brings in some warmth to the color scheme here since everything is like super white. This is kind of more of a beigey warm tone. So we'll put that on the couch in a sec here. This kind of just fell apart off of it, um, but that's fine. Anyways, and at home since I also got this candle, this is like the cutest thing ever. This is like the best thing they had there, but you open up the little lid and there's a candle and I think it's like a pumpkin spice flavor. And yeah, it's so cute. I can't wait to burn this tonight. And then I got these two decorative pumpkins from Walmart. These were just a few dollars each. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like them because they kind of look cheap. So we'll put them up and see if I like them. But this is definitely my favorite thing. It's so cute. But yeah, so that's a little haul. So here's how the blanket goes with the couch. I love it so much. And it's going to be perfect for cozy movie nights because me and Joel will be able to fit under this together. Not like that other blanket that's so tiny. But yeah, I love it. And I love how it adds like more of a warm tone to the couch. It's so cozy. As for these pumpkins, I'm going to see how they look beside the TV here. So like what if I did kind of like this moment right here. If I put this one, the candle. I don't know. There's too many candles here now, but let me see. Okay, so I put this little pumpkin here on the edge next to the TV, and it looks so cute. I love this so much. But as for the other pumpkins, I'm actually not going to be using them just because I just put them in different places, and I just don't like how fake they look. I don't know if you can tell in person, I mean on camera, but in person they just look kind of fake. And, and when I compare it to that ceramic Q1 over there, it just doesn't fit the vibe. Like, so they had more decor like this because this is just so cute. I was really disappointed, but I'm so happy I got this at least. So I forgot to show you guys, but I did end up picking up these strainers because I just realized that I don't have any like fine um, strainers. And when I was juicing the other day, I was like, oh shoot, like you're supposed to strain the juice and I just didn't have strainers. So I picked these up. They were only like $7 at HomeSense. So I finally got myself <clears throat> some strainers. I'm gonna take off these jeans. I love them, but they are the smallest size, like the smallest. And they are big on me. Like I'm wearing a pair of shorts underneath um, these jeans right now. And look at how big they are on me. Like they're just like kind of uncomfortable because they feel just like way too loose. So I'm really surprised because this is like my normal size of jean, but they're just like really big on the waist for me. And if they were like more snug, it would be a lot more comfortable, but they're just like really big on me. So I'm going to change out of these. I totally forgot 
that chapters slash indigo exists and i was looking for a fall mug like a cute fall mug and i'm like where can i get that from when i was like doing my errands today i couldn't think of it and then when i got home i'm like oh my god chapters slash indigo they have the cutest mugs so we came to the mall and we're gonna go to the chapters here and i'm hopefully gonna find a cutie fall mug i feel like i didn't get much today and i just really want a fall mug for my apartment because we don't have any so we're gonna get that today and then yeah we just came back out for, to the mall so that's what we're doing Okay, so these are the two mugs that I got. They're so cute. This one just says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then this one is just kind of like a pumpkin shape. It reminds me of the candle that I got actually. But yeah, just a pumpkin shape. And I like how big it is. And it has a little um, leaf on it. And yeah, they're both so cute. But I couldn't just pick one, so. Angel, we're just about to sit down and watch Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer from the last episode. Um, it's a very disturbing show and it's based on a true story. So we're gonna, gonna watch the last episode and then I'm probably gonna watch Gilmore Gr Girls because I recently started Gilmore Girls and it's honestly, you guys are right, like, because I did a poll on my Instagram and it's such a cozy fall show. I love it. So after we watch that episode, I'm probably just gonna watch a little bit of Gilmore Girls. That's the plan for tonight. It's all gonna be cozy with the new blanket. But I'm currently just about to make us a mug cake um, in these little dishes that I got from Ikea. They're so perfect to make mug cakes in. And then I'm probably gonna make myself a little tea with my new pumpkin mugs, of course. So I will link the recipe for the mug cakes down below, but they're so good. mug cakes are done and now I'm just gonna pop them in the microwave for about 30 seconds depends how gooey you like them Joel likes his 30 seconds I like mine about 40 seconds so yeah they're super easy and they're so good I think fall is definitely like second to Christmas I kind of count Christmas as like a season okay don't like hate me for that but I love fall so much like the outfits the vibe like the vibe of even like Halloween it's just like such a vibe and like fall outfits, fall candles, the coziness, like rainy days. I honestly am looking forward to it and I love it so much. Comment down below your guys' favorite season because I'm curious. But I do like, I do love summer too. Fall, I don't know why, it just hits different. It's such a cozy feeling. Yeah, I kind of actually want to go to the pumpkin patch soon. Let me know if you guys are going to go or if you've gone. But I'm excited for my little fall adventures and I want to do a lot because I want to take like full advantage of the season. I want to get some cute photos. I want to make some cute outfits. But yeah, I just love fall. It's tea time. We're going to use our cutie new mug. Um, decided to go with this one because it's a little bit more festive. I'm going to pick a tea. So I'm going to go with this Bengal Spice Tea. Joel's mom actually got this for me and it's so good. I'm actually almost done the package, but I love it so much. So I just put a bit of oat milk in my tea and now I'm just going to go watch some Gilmore Girls with my cute candle. This mug is so cute. I'm obsessed. I love it. get ready for bed but honestly after being sick i kind of feel like i'm in a rut because i've been doing nothing for a week and if you guys didn't know my dog passed away um two weeks ago and i don't really want to get into it but we had to put him down and it was extremely sad for my whole family and it was so unexpected and if you didn't know we also lost my cat just a month prior and it's just been hard and after losing Zeus that week following I got sick 
and I was just kind of out of it for two weeks because I stayed at my parents' house for the week and then last week I didn't do anything because I was on the couch sick and so now this week it's like I feel that I need to be so productive and I feel like I need to conquer this week because society it tells you that you need to be so productive all of the time and if you're not productive you're basically a waste of space and that's how I've been feeling lately and I know it's normal to feel this way but if you're feeling this way too I just wanted to tell you that that is not true and you have to ease your way back into things like after taking that but those like two weeks off unintentionally that's something that had to happen and was completely out of my control i'm still just like putting that pressure on myself this week to get back into it but i had like a wall today and i was like holy shit like i'm just so tired and exhausted and i'm like but what am i tired from like what did i do i've been doing nothing these past two weeks and I'm just like, but what about that emotional like trauma, stress that my body's been through? Like, I just am getting over sickness. Like, I still have a cough. And I don't know, I've just been like putting a lot of pressure on myself to get back into the grind of things so fast. But it's like, you have to take that time to heal and you have to take that time to ease your weight back into things. And you can't just like jump back in. So yeah, obviously it's just hard because I feel like I've been slacking on videos and... Um, I want to put out the best content, obviously. I'm just like finding my balance back again. And I know that like the motivation, it will come and it'll all come back. And I'm super, super excited like to get back into things. Like, don't get me wrong. But I was wrong when I just wanted to jump back into things because that's not really how it works. You have to kind of ease your way back into it step by step. But yeah, it just makes me think how like we treat our bodies like machines sometimes and like productive machines like we have to be productive we have to work we have to do this we have to do that but like in reality that's not what we're here on earth for if you think of just like us on earth and, and outside of society it's like we're human beings here for an experience we're not here to treat our bodies like machines our bodies are sacred temples here to be treated nicely and kindly not stressed not put under all this pressure every single thing that happens in your life is part of your journey whether that's taking two weeks off that's part of your journey but it's just like so hard obviously not to feel guilty for that because we're bred like machines it's like we're taught that you have to work hard your whole life and you can never catch a break because you need to be successful by this age or you need to have a degree by this age or you need to have a stable job by this age but none of that is actually true and it's really freeing me like realizing that but yeah it's just so important not to treat your body like a machine and i think that's something that we can all learn and are all learning and that's something that i'm definitely learning even talking about this and giving you guys this advice it's like it's even hard for me sometimes to follow because i feel guilty for not being productive but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys how i'm feeling lately because i feel like i haven't given you guys a real update in a while but i'm so excited like i'm so excited to connect with you guys on my patreon and to be more open and give you guys more of these updates and just chat with you guys like i genuinely want to become friends with you guys and if you join the patreon like we're actually going to be talking like genuinely like one-to-one -one. like i want to message you guys like directly in the group chat we're all going to talk um and like in my live chats and q a's i'm going to talk to you guys directly and facetime you guys like i literally want to be your friends because it's like sometimes i feel like i have no friends but then i'm like holy shit like i have this whole community of people that i don't like i don't see you guys you see me on the screen right now but i don't see you guys and i want to be able to see you guys and that's why i'm so excited for this patreon because I just can't wait to get closer, build an intimate community, put out more content for you guys. Like, I'm so excited. But anyways, that ends off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, just like can't even express my gratitude for you guys supporting my channel. And I'm so thankful to have this career. And I love you guys so much. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Or I'll see you on my Patreon. Good night.